वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे कथे का देखा मैं अकथ न कथिया जाई जो तुझ पावे सोई आखा दिल तेरी वड़ियाई दिल तेरी वड़ियाई फतेह बुलाने जी वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह सासंग जी the last thing we finished off was about the way the things are being created to, dis- to destroy us. They want to finish this month. A lot of people want to finish this month. So there's a media war against us. Every time we talk about human rights, we get called terrorists and separatists. And they call what's happening with NSYF. They started a campaign to educate people about human rights. But even then in India, it was reported as, a, as this youth of abroad trying to set up a new separatist movement. This is the media war we're facing. The other war we're facing is that we don't even know what we're doing. In the Gurdwara, we're not focusing upon educating our youth about Sikhi. This Gurdwara has been very kind to us, but a lot more youth have tried to go into Gurdwara and do Katha and do programs, and they've been turned away. And they've fought and they've fought and fought, and they've given up, and then there's anger against the committees. This happens in every Gurdwara across the country, we are not focusing upon building the fundamentals of Sikhi, we are focusing upon building funds. We need to focus back on fundamentals building. And that's only going to happen when we start reminding us of our mission. Our mission is We become mukti ourselves from learning Gurbani, from understanding it, then we spread it. If you look at the Shabbat that we talked about, that the Kaljuk is the knife, and the butchers are the kings. Read the next Shabbat. The next Shabbat after that is by Guru Amar Das Ji. And Guru Amar Das Ji gives us a solution. What's the solution? Kirtan. Mala says, in Kalju, Kirtan is the highest thing ever. We start by singing Kirtan. We learn it. We live it. Next thing to do is to spread it. So today we're going to talk about how do we spread Tarim? How do we spread the truth of Gurbani or Gursikhi in a very simple way? And we're going to call this a three-point a, a three system, which is Sikhi awareness for everyone. And although right now we're just doing it to the Sikhs, the plan is that we're going to start doing it on the streets and teaching people about Sikhi the way that everybody else does. Just go and tell people. Nothing wrong with it. We're not breaking any laws. And the thing about this is, it's raising awareness about what Sikhs believe and what is the caste identity. On their call, the guy that came to shoot up Sikhs in America, in Wisconsin, did he think he was shooting up Sikhs? I don't think so. I think he thought he was just shooting up anybody else. The other. And most specifically, he, would th- he probably thought he was taking revenge for September 11th and everything else. You know? In Iraq. Because we get associated with the Muslim Panth. Because no one knows about us. No one knows about us. Go and tell. We go outside looking like this. People look at you and they go, what are you? And you have to say, I'm a Sikh. If you say, I'm a Sikh, and they say, what's wrong with you? Because they don't even know what the word Sikh means. Yeah, because it's our fault, we keep saying we're Sikh. So the first thing is raising awareness. Also, we need to inspire all people of the world with Guru's wisdom. Maharaj is Jagat Guru. He's come to teach everybody. We need to make it accessible for people that want to learn about Sikhi. Make it accessible. We tell them a little bit, but the next step is to allow them to come inside the Gurdwara. So part of this is going to be to have open days at the Gurdwara. This is a kind of an open day. Come to Gurdwara, no pressure, learn about Sikhi. In English. We're going to do more open days, even more open, with no Punjabi, just simple, simplifying it even further for anybody who wants to learn about Sikhi, no matter where they're from. The rules, conversion is not the aim. We're not here to convert people, and there's no points in Sikhi for converting someone. There's no tick in the box of Dusi Jagi, you're going to heaven because you converted X amount of people. There are religions that believe in this, but not us. What we say is, Karmi, Apo, Apani, Ke Nede, Ke Dur. 
You are close and you're further away from Y Guru based upon your own actions. Not what somebody else did. And no criticism of the other face. We're not here to criticize the other face. Guru Gobind Singh said himself, he don't do Nindya of other times. So we're not, this is not the important point about safe, it's not to be criticized anybody else. But let's present Sikhi properly. What is really the essence of Sikhi? Let's start with three things about Sikhi. The philosophy, the Guru's lives, and some interesting facts. People get, I'll tell you three things about Sikhi. They go, go on, and I tell, I'll tell you a little bit about the philosophy, a little bit about the history of Guru's life, and I'll tell you something interesting. And you keep them hanging on to the last one. Right? And here's the thing. Philosophy is number one. Ik. Ik to shiru karlo. It's such a simple number, everybody understands it. Yeah? And all we're going to say is, one creator. Ik akal puruk. One wahigu. One human race. That's simple as well. No distinctions. Whether you're male or female, you're black, you're white, whether you're from this color or that color, whether you're gay or you're straight, it makes no difference to us. You've got a soul, you're human, Sikhi is available for you. That's it. Maharaj is coming Jagat Guru for everybody. So, God doesn't care about our religious label, and nor should Sikhs care about the religious label. So, we've come from the one, we've returned to the one. We've got to teach you with that diagram. Here's the one, we came out of the one, we came the many, we're going to go back to the one. This is the aim. The only thing is, this is going to happen anyway. Who's going to get there faster? We're going to keep missing it every time, or are we going to take that road inside? The road inside means, like Amr said, we're going round and round and round, and then there's one road in through Naam, through Guru, through love. For us, it's through Guru, for them, maybe some other Guru, but it's through love at the end of the day. So, how do we return to this one? Well, we have an amazing human potential. We have this Naam inside us already. Sab mein hai jod, jod hai soi. It's already inside us. So how do we open this? All you have to tell them is just point the top of the head. That's it. If you leave someone with the idea that there's something on top of their own head, right, that they go to sleep with and they wake up and it's there for them and it's not working, they want to fix it. Make it about them. Say, where's God? It's top of your head, me. Right on the top of your head. If we tell everyone, if we tell ourselves every morning, Rab Ittea, because he took Nangi under. If we say Rab Ittea, we're going to keep looking outside. Tell ourselves in the morning, God is inside. Everybody else you meet, tell them God's inside you. But don't just say randomly, it's inside you. Tell them it's on top of your head. Right? And tell them it's here. Here and here. Because we're going to start focusing, and Gurbani says, focus upon these places when you do Naam Simran. Because then your concentration is going to the right place, not the wrong place. So, simply, we want to tell people these things. There is one creator, one human race, and it's possible for us to experience that creator on the top of our head. That's the first message we should be giving to anybody about Sikhi. If we don't tell them this, then we've missed out on the key cake of Sikhi. This is the Sat. Sat Naam. Name is Sat. At the beginning of this today, we started off by talking about the Mool Mantra. If you weren't here for that one, we said Ik or Ankar. Everything came out from the one. Tikana, we're inside that one. This is the truth, Sat. This is the Sat. And Naam. Through the name, we'll find this truth. So when we say the name of the one, then we go back to the one. It's as simple as that. This all you told somebody is Ik Ankar, Sat, Naam. Where is the Naam? Here. Naam is Paragat and Dasandwar. So, and the fastest way, as we already know, is by singing Kirtan in the Saad Sangat. Everybody understands singing. It's not complicated. If you tell anybody in the world, you know, we sing, they go, oh, that's nice. That's very nice, isn't it? Just think. No matter what you tell, what do you do when you pray? Well, we sing songs. Oh, who wrote them? Well, our Gurus did. Oh, that's nice. Then you say to them, oh, but, and we should know this as well, Guru Granth Sahib Ji is actually divided by music. That's going to be the interesting point we'll come to later on. Sorry, I jumped ahead. The point is, is that we can experience that one creator who made all of us through the Naam. That's the first thing we say. And the best way is through love and the Saad Sangat, in the Holy Sangat. The second thing is the Guru's lives. How are we going to tell people about three, 200 years from Guru Nanak to becoming Guru, to Guru Gobind Singh said in the castle for 200 years, there was always one person in charge. 
Always there was one guru who was ahead of Sikhi. That's the history we need to know. What happened? Even we're standing outside talking to people now. The guruship story. How did it flow from guru to guru guru? There's a video about this on our YouTube channel. A very short one. Made a longer one recently about the guruship story. This story is the most important story for us to know. But if you were going to take this story and translate it for somebody else outside Sikhi. Like what do we need to tell this person about Sikhi? We can look at what the founders of Sikhi did. Because we got 10 gurus. This is what I would say would be the key thing as a message to give out. For ourselves and for others, they abolished female inequality. Very key thing. Sati was knocked out of Sikhi. Widows were allowed to remarry. P women were allowed to do part. Women were allowed to do parjar. This is the way that Sikhi started. The first Sikh was Bebe Nanaki. Gunandeji was never a Sikh, you know? Gunandeji was always Guru. He went from no Guru, wandering around, Tvanta Dive Kaal, Kaalilaya, straight to Guru. That's what he said. I was a jobless Taddi. I got given a job, Mara says in Ang 150. So, the first Sikh is Bebe Nanaki. And we follow her, basically. Because the Sikh, he starts from the Sikh. From Guru Sahib is obviously the Guru. The fastest way for us, the Guru Sahib's lives, so they abolished female inequality, racial and religious inequality. Guru Arjan Deji was persecuted. But check this out. Guru Arjan Deji is persecuted. His son, does he take revenge against all of Islam? No. Does Guru Hargobin Sahib go on a tire, go on a crusade against all Muslims for killing his father? No. Guru Hargobin Sahib, Ji in Kiratpur Sahib, builds a mosque. For the Muslims that were living in Kiratpur Sahib, they didn't have a mosque. And they said, Maharaj, you are the king. See, this is what we think. We think Guru is a religious leader. He's not a religious leader. At that time, Guru, Guru uh, Hargobind Sahib Ji was running a country. It was called Guru's land. And in Guru's land, in Kiripur Sahib, they didn't have a mosque. And the Muslims said, we need a mosque. And Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji built them a mosque. No one's ever done that. They're not just religious leaders, they're political leaders as well. If we had a Khalistan, do you think the Muslims would not get a mosque in that Khalistan? Of course they would. But it wouldn't be called Khalisar, it would be called Khalsa Raj. And everybody would be free to practice their own faith in that. We take the examples from our Guru. So when we say the philosophy, the philosophy is not a dry philosophy, it's a real philosophy. This actually happened. They built a mosque in Kiripur Sahib. The second thing is, the most important message is about Guru Teg Bahadur Ji. And they gave their life for the freedom of religion. It wasn't just for the Hindus. That was just a... This, the, you can say that the story behind was that it was for the Hindus but what's the real message? Religious freedom. That's the real message. So Guru Teg Bhaji did that. They gave their faith, they gave their own life for the freedom of other people to practice their faith. These two examples are unparalleled. Just, and guess what? They're father and son. Guru Arghubin Sahib Ji's son is Guru Teg Bahadur Ji. Teg Mal became Teg Bahadur and then became Guru Teg Bahadur, ninth Guru. So father and son and check, this is the most amazing thing is they're not the first guru or the second guru or the third guru they were all amazing but the sixth and the ninth guru done something so amazing so imagine if we knew all of our ten guru stories those two of them could pretty much blow anybody away just those two examples of two gurus we've got ten of them the third point after the history idea just to, for people to understand that the philosophy is real and we lived it and we did it is to talk about the interesting facts about Sikhi. And these facts are facts that we should know, really important. The first one is that Sikhi was created by Waheguru. As far as Guru Sahib says, the word came from Akal Puruk. Shabad came from them. When Guruji asked, who's your Guru? Ramadev Ji asked this in Siddh Ghosh, who is your Guru? What does Maharaj say? Maharaj doesn't say what we would expect him to say, oh, I am my own Guru. Or oh, God is my Guru. We would say, oh, well, he, I don't know what he would say. Mahara says, Shabad Guru. Surta Tunchela. The Shabad is my Guru. I follow the Shabad. And my Surt follows the Tun. My Surt is the Chela of the Tun. My consciousness follows the beat of the Shabad. So this is what Sikhi was told to us. Guruji is, Guru Sahib is following Shabad. So from the word came Guru. And then back to the word. Tan Guru Ji. Back to the word. This is the truth about Sikhi. We've come from the word and we're back to the word. And Guru Granth Ji, to talk about the word a little bit more, 
Very interesting fact. There's no other scripture in the world that is divided by music. <coughs> Guru Granth Sahib Ji is not divided into chapters on God, on women, on men, on, I don't know, politics, on philosophy. It's not divided by that. We should know this. Guru Granth Sahib Ji is divided by music. 31 rags, Ikatti rag. Starts from Siri rag and goes through all the rags. If you open Guru Granth Sahib Ji, you will be surprised. You mean, what is this? Is some kind of religious text? It's not like any religious text I've ever seen. Because there's no chapters and there's no parts on anything. You can pick up a Shabbat, on one Ang, you'll have 10 different topics covered. Even in one Shabbat, you'll have 10 different topics covered. Maharaj is not giving some kind of book for us to read. Maharaj is giving us a Brahm Gyan. Brahm Gyan means it all comes at the same time. Otherwise, what people will do is they'll pick and choose. And see again, on today somebody asked me, why don't you tell people what lectures you're giving? I didn't tell people what lectures they're giving is because people would pick and choose. They'll say, oh, I like politics. I don't like religion. Oh, I like to know about this one. I don't want to know about that. We pick and choose all the time. Everything we do in life, we pick and choose what we should learn. But when we come to Guru, we're not here to pick and choose. Yeah? We have to take all of Guru's mat. And what it says in Gurbani is, Bees Bisve Guru Ka Man Mane. 20 out of 20. For you must say 100% nowadays. 20 out of 20 we have to accept Guru's mat. No our mat. Bees Bisve Guru Ka Man Mane. That's what we have to do as a Guru Sikh. That servant, that Sikh, Sikh Seva ki hamna, So Seva Parameshwar ki gajan. Then we will know the Creator. We can't pick and choose this. Why Guru is compassionate. Why Guru is not compassionate and dry. Why Guru has come to give compassion in the form of the Khalsa. The Khalsa has come to free the world to solve this problem of Kaljuk. Guru Granth Sahib Ji is divided by music. It's, it's all poetry. 1430 Angs is poetry. It's hard to believe sometimes how much of that is just poetry. When I see Aris again before this, when they were doing Sage part, uh, Akhand part, sorry, it was Anand Sahib. Today we talk so much about Anand Sahib, and then Anand Sahib was just going on when we were having Nangar. Maharaj is talking in so many different ways, but we can't pick and choose. We have to learn, read it all and understand it all. Or even if we read one Shabbat, Maharaj doesn't allow us to get away from reading all the different philosophies because he's mixed it all up for us. The fact that it's all poetry is divided by music and is written by the Gurus. There's no dispute about this. Guruji themselves composed Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And all Granth Sahib Ji, when you look at it, you know when we go to Gurbani at the end of Asa Diwar, it says Shud. It's a strange word, isn't it? Just by itself, those lines on both sides, it just says Shud. If you see that word come up in Gurbani, look out for that word, Shud. It means this. It means that Guru Arjan Dev Ji checked over what Pai Gurdasi was writing. Pai Gurdasi is sitting there writing and Guru Arjan Dev Ji is reciting Bani yeah, from heaven. And then when he finishes Pai Gurdasi writing, Guru Arjan Dev Ji goes over and looks at what Pai Gurdasi wrote and he corrects it. And when it's correct, he writes should, pure, sorted, it's clean. Yeah? This is what happens in Gurbani. We need to know these little stories, know these little words because they come up and they prove to us that Guru Arjan Dev Ji Pasha was sitting there and Pai Gurdasi was sitting there and these words were read out and they were marked off and they said Hon Gur Sikha, Hon Tu Par Now it's correct for you, it should because Akal Puruk's words So it's all poetry, it's all music written by the Gurus and Guru Granth Sahib Ji contains writings by people of other faiths 36 different people and only 6 are our Gurus 30 other people We talk about oneness, talk about the philosophy Guru Sahib lived that philosophy. What we worship now has that philosophy embedded right inside it. Oneness of the human race. That Islam and Hinduism don't exist. Na koi Hindu, na Muslim. There is no Hindu, there is no Muslim. There's only human beings, there's only one God. That's why it's only Guru Granth Sahib Ji. That's the beauty of Gurbani. And when you explain these things in this step, philosophy, the Guru's lives, and the interesting facts about Guru Shabad, and Guru Granth Sahib Ji, that is enough to blow anybody away. It's enough to blow me away and blow most of us away. But this is the message we should be giving out. What we do nowadays is, this is Ji, what we do is, someone says, what is Sikhi? And we say, oh, oh we're, we're a monotheistic religion. We were started about 500 years ago by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And um, we've got 10 Gurus. And nowadays, we have this Khalsa. They, wave, they wear the turban, the beard, and kirpans. 
Boss, we will say, oh, thanks for that. No inspiration, no truth, no sat, sat, no sat santok vichar. We haven't given them anything. All we've given them is the cake. If we look at a cake, we just told them about the icing on the cake. Imagine you went to a shop and you said, please, can I buy that cake? And they go, well, it's a, it's a white cake. It's got pink flowers on it. Would you buy it? It's got cream and it's got flowers. You say, well, what's inside it? Well, we does the he had the sikhi, we're just telling people about the cake, we're telling about the icing. The cake of sikhi is inside. What is it made up of? It's made up of the philosophy of oneness. It's made up of the gurus that live that oneness. It's made up of Guru Shabbat, the Gurbani, which is proof of that oneness. When we go and talk about our guru, let's talk about the tat, the real essence. Let's not talk about the icing, let's talk about the cake. And more of our pant will be inspired. This prachar of Sikhi awareness for everyone is not just my job to do, it's not just the job for the Pracharics that do it across the country. Every single one of us is supposed to do this. Mara says, Shabad Guru Sune Sunai. That the Guru Sikh, Guru Gobind Singh says in Pai Nanda Adhyat Nama, that a Sikh has to listen to Gurbani, understand it, and then tell other people about it. It's our job to spread this wisdom. We are Guru's hands, we are the body of Guru. That's why Khalsa Mero Roop hai Khas. Khalsa Meho Karo Nivas. Guru Sahib lives in the Khalsa. Guru Sahib lives in the six. So the six have to go out there and spread Sikhi. Because that's the main thing. If we live it ourselves. That's why Guru Ram Dasi says. That's such a good Sikh. Who? Aap Jabe Avra Naam Jabave. Jannanak Tood Mange. This good Sikhi. Guru Ram Dasi is saying, I want the dust. I want to touch the feet of that sick. Jo aap jape avra naam jabave. A hukum here. Good sick ni. We can't say no to this hukum. So we need to think about sikhi. How should we tell people about it? How do we make people aware about it? And live it ourselves and tell people about it. And you know, the more we tell people, the more we learn back. The beauty of it is like that. That's why it says in Bani. Now I want to bring this book up. Kave karche ral mil pai. This is that kind of thing. It's not food that runs out. Guru Shabad, Langar, Langar Tane Guru Shabad. This is the Shabad of Bani. We do Langar of this. Kave, eat it, karche, give it out. Ran milpai, come together. Totna ave, vaddo jai. It will increase. You will get a rust from telling people about Sikhi. They will get a rust from listening about it. Because what's happening there? Sasangat hori hai gie. You are in Saat Sangat, you don't even know. Saat Sangat is the only thing, because Saat Sangat is how you know. What is that Saat Sangat? Jithe Eko Naam Bakhani. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to start having Saat Sangat and creating it. So Guru Sahib has given us an amazing jewel. All we can try ourselves is to Aap Jabe, Avra Naam Jabe. We try ourselves and it will improve for us. Sana Bi Laha Milna Hai Gaan. We'll create Saat Sangat for ourselves. If in this talk, and all the talks today I made any mistakes, please forgive me, I'm sure I made loads of mistakes. And also, I hope Maharaj does give for all of us that we keep coming back to Gurdwara, we keep learning about Guru Sikhi, we try to improve this jivan so that Ehe Lok Sukhiye, Par Lok Suhele, Nanak Har Prab Ape Mele. Pura Chukhan Khema Bakshni Ji, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.